Thailand Pass is a website which you can apply everything by yourself. It's free application. So if you can do this application by yourself, you don't have to pay anything. But some of you feel like you would rather pay, and that is why we starting to have a lot of website scammer unfortunately so what i want to tell you today is something that you have to be careful and if you are looking for someone to help you to apply thailand pass if you want to know more detail this video i have it for you <laughs> <laughs> it's me Teya Sujira. If you want to know more about Thailand, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you not miss anything about my country. I am still in Chiang Mai and uh, the place that I'm sitting is the uh, Airbnb which is like a uh, one single house that I stay with my family and uh, you can have a look the decoration is so cute and the house here is huge it's just like uh, I think more than 10 people can stay here but my family we got only six people so each of us just like stay in different single room and uh, it's so fun so that is why I feel like uh, it's so nice to take this location to talk with you about the news that I want to share with you today. What I want to tell you today is quite important because it's about the, uh, I think it's, it's really, it would be good for you to know about it. I want to talk to you, I want to talk with you about Thailand Pass. I mean, not about the how to apply Thailand Pass because I already tell you about how to apply Thailand Pass in a very, <laughs> a lot of information in that video. So if you want to know how to apply it, you can see in the link down here, I think. <laughs> but what I want to tell you is that um, when Thailand start to open the country and starting to do Thailand Pass website for you to to let you apply this form. And of course, there are lots of the, um, how to say, just like a scammer, try to take advantage using the name of Thailand Pass to make a business with you. Some of you probably don't know that this website is not official website. It's not a website from Thai government. One thing you should know that the website for um, the website for Thailand Pass application is tp.consular.go.th, and the page it looks like this. <laughs> And of course, it's very normal. You, many people just have to make a business as well, including me. <laughs> I also uh, do a business about apply Thailand Pass for many of you guys. And I have to say thank you so much for many of you who support myself and Stella and our team. But some people, uh, they use Thailand Pass, this name, to put like a website and uh, at the end, uh, you have to pay them. I mean, you have to pay me too. <laughs> I don't do it for free. You have to pay me too. But what I do is different. What I do is like I charge you, but after that I apply and do everything for you, especially most importantly, when you are Thailand passed, it's kind of in a rush time or you haven't got an approved, you don't have to do anything. You just wait. And uh, myself and my team will be a person who will contact the staff of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to, to get you an approved. We wish we can get an approved for you, but we can't. But some people, some travel agent, some website or some people who just uh, charge you money after you pay, you have to apply everything by yourself. I don't know why you have to pay them. So please be careful. And uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you the name of the website just because I still want to have life longer. <laughs> I hope you understand. I don't want to have a problem with anybody's business. What I have to tell you is that you have to be careful before you make a decision 
to pay for someone, and、um, if your friend already did application from that place, and they tell you like this is good, okay, you can do it. But、um, before you pay, please really, really be careful. I already told you before as well that the、uh, Thailand Pass application, it wasn't the website which you talk about it before Thailand even opened the country in November. And I told you like the real one is was like that. I make、uh, in another video. But I guess that Thai government also have heard about it, and a lot of people complain to the government as well that there are lots of scammer who try to copy and pretend to be like official, pretend to be like official government website, and by using like try to look it so professional, but at the end just took your money and you did nothing. You you have to pay for nothing, and you have to do everything by yourself. I guess that's a problem. That is why right now today, Thailand starting to have another website, which is a real official website for helping you guys to put everything all together in one website. This website is the official one. If you want to know what website and how it is like, I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, so the website that you have to go is entrythailand.go.th. This is the government website, which is the they can help you because this page has everything. For example, like um, they have uh, you can see information about the uh. Before arrival information, and also Thailand Pass. If you click here, you will just reach to the page of how to apply Thailand Pass, and you can just apply it by yourself. And also, they also have like AQ or alternative quarantine booking. You look if you look for Sha Plus or Sha Booking, you can just click here, and then there is information for. For you to search for, like,、uh, actually, you have to change to English language first, and then you can search for everything. And also, COVID insurance. They also have link for you to just、uh, buy insurance from here as well. And、uh, like,、uh, Mosina application. Flight status and information for when you arrive here, and also news, general news. So this is the reliable website which you can use, and it all include everything in one page. That is entrythailand.go.th. Well, now you know that this is the official website for Thailand government. For myself, I feel like. This is really useful. <laughs> This is really useful, but well, at least you know which one is the official one and which one is reliable. Well, of course, but you still have to look for a、uh, Sha Plus hotel. You still have to apply Thailand Pass by yourself, but at least it's reliable website which is put everything all together for you. So this is the、uh, useful for you, and that is why I want to share with you as well. And I think this one is good for anyone who's are who's in the who is independent traveler. You can do everything by yourself as long as you have enough information. And if you don't have information, you can just have a look in my. Previous video that I put a lot of information, like for example, if you want to know if you come as test and go, how many day you have to stay. If you come as sandbox, how many day you have to stay. Or if you want to apply Thailand Pass, how to apply, you can look in the playlist of the update travel Thailand, and you can see I put all information for you. But another group of you guys who feel like give me a break, let me relax. <laughs> We do have some that kind of group as so, well. Like they would rather pay to someone who reliable to do everything for them. That people they that people are people who let my team 
to manage for 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 them. So if you are those kind of people and you feel like, please, I have enough headache in my life. <laughs> Taya, please help me. Of course, we will do it for you. And the more we do, is the more we could. We is the more we are quite expert about it. So, if you are interested to let us take care of all the paperwork for you, you also can contact me. Otherwise, just do what I explained to you with the reliable website that I informed you today. And also, if you have any question about the rest of that, you are more than welcome to just write email and ask me. If you know, I will definitely help you. But I have to tell you first, I don't know everything because my background. I work as a tourism. I'm just a tour guide, and I just starting to read news during the COVID nineteen about how you guys. Uh, entry Thailand. That is what I know. So if it's something a little bit complicated, especially something about visa, I'm not quite experienced about it. So I have to apologize about it. So I can help you to answer whatever I know and I feel confident to help you. I hope you understand. And I'm, I'm sorry about it too. In case some of you who ask me some difficult question for me, I I can't help you all about the question. Anyway, this is all I want to tell you. And uh, if you feel like this video is useful for you, you can give me a thumb up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe because now on so far, I'm planning to give more information about tourism in Thailand now because I feel like entering Thailand is quite stable and it doesn't seem like it's going to change much. So I'm going to get back to what I really wanted to do, which is about Traveling Thailand, so please make sure you subscribe my channel because now I'm going to starting to do my channel in about traveling Thailand soon. Anyway, if you feel like you are appreciated with information that I have today, if you feel like you want to support my channel, you want to buy me a coffee, you can have a look in description how to buy me a coffee. And for today, thank you so much for watching until the end. I'll see you next time very soon. สวัสดีค่ะ